Hello YouTube, this is MTG Geezers, and we are bringing you the final part of our complete set review for Khans of Tarkia. And this time, it's the last part, I'm looking over the white cards. Now the white cards are actually some of my favourites, so we're going to jump straight into it now. And we're going to start off with Abzan Battle Priest. So for 4 mana, you're getting a 3-2 with Outlast for 1, pretty cheap. And each creature with a 1-1 one -one counter on it has lifelink. If Outlast becomes a thing, I can see this being the centrepiece of quite a lot of Outlast decks. Um, otherwise, it's a really strong card in Sealed, um, nevertheless, and it will definitely see play in Standard, and maybe other formats as well. Abzan Falconer is 3 for a 2-3, again, the cheap outlast cost of 1, and each creature with a 1-1 counter on it has Flying. Again, it's a bit like the Battle Priest, however, it costs a bit cheaper to play, and it, it gives Flying instead of Lifelink. There are a whole series of these cards for Abzan in green, white, and in black. And they all give different things like flying, death touch, and stuff like this. And moving on, here's one that gives first strike. So this one only costs two for a 2 1. Outlast costs two on this. And each creature with one one counter and has first strike. All of these cards are really playable in sealed. Um, I can probably even see play for them in standard. I don't think they're quite good enough for modern, but maybe, maybe we'll have to wait and see because obviously there are a lot of tricolored cards in modern, and a lot of it will be played in commander as well. Alablast Kirin is 4 for a 2-3 with Flying and Vigilance. He's a pretty solid creature for Sealed. Um, the Flying's obviously good evasion and Vigilance, meaning he can block it as well. Uh, much more value out of it if you can enchant it with something, because then you've got a much stronger creature there. But a 2-3 is not bad uh, for its mana cost. Brave the Sands. This is one of my favourite cards from the set. For 2, you're getting an enchantment. You use creatures you control Vigilance. And each creature you control can block an additional creature. This is so typically Abzan. You know, you can attack with all your dudes, then hold them back, and every one of your creatures can block two of their attackers. I love it. I think it's a really, really strong card. Um, I'm probably going to see play for this in standard. That I'll probably run four of these, even if I'm not playing an Abzan deck, just in a white deck, because they're pretty, pretty powerful. Now I've got Dazzling Ramparts. Five for a 0-7 defender. Pay two, tap, tap target creature. This is one of my favourite cards from the set as well, because the ability to be able to just block all of their big attackers is really strong, but then if you don't want to block them because you think they might have pump in their hand or it's got flying for any reason, you can't block it, you can just tap it down and it's nothing to worry about anyway, and then in your untapped step you can tap it down again so you can get a bit more damage through. Really strong card. Defiant Strike, um, it's okay, plus one plus zero until end turn draw card, it's nothing special. End Hostilities is going to be our new Supreme Verdict-like effect for one more mana at 5, destroy all creatures and all permanents attached to them. This absolutely annihilates every Bestow deck we've seen so far, um, any decks that do enchantments and stuff like that. It's really, really strong, uh, so I really like it. I think it will see a moderate amount of play if uh, control decks come back in, so it's pretty good. Arrays, Exile Target Enchantment for one white instant speed. I think this is playable, but it's more of a sideboard card for like standard and stuff. Uh, it'll probably see play in sealed because there are a few enchantments in the set, so it's a pretty strong card. I like the fact it's instance as well. Feet of Resistance is two mana for an instant speed. Put a one-one counter on target creature you control, and it gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. I really like this card actually. It's a bit like God's Willing, uh, but you're putting a one-one counter on your creature, and it gains protection obviously, so they can't block or. You've got a stronger blocker. I really, really like it, and I think it will definitely be played in standard, probably over God's Willing, and if not, it will definitely have its place in sealed and draft. Firehoof Cavalry is 1 for a 1-1, one, one, and pay for it gets plus 2, plus 0, and trample. I think it's an okay card, however, its true value only comes out if you're playing, obviously, Mardu, or a deck with both white and red in, but 4 is still a bit of a steep cost to give plus 2, plus 0, and trample. If you've got 12 mana to invest, I can see it becoming good, plus 6, plus 0 in Trample, etc. But otherwise, you know, it's a decent card, nothing special. Herald of Anafenza is 1 for a 1-2 with Outlast for 3. And whenever you activate Outlast, you get a 1-1 one, one Soldier. I really like this, because when you then go into place a card like Abzan Ascendancy, putting a 1-1 one, one on all of your creatures, they all get the boost from each other, like Flying and Vigilance and First Strike and Death Touch and stuff. Um, this is one of my favourite cards. It's I think it's going to be a bit like a Pack Rat Storm type effect. I can see four of these being run in a deck with four Brimaz and Elspeths and stuff like that. Just a Soldier and Warrior deck. Uh, but nevertheless, it's a really strong card. High Sentinels of Arishan is four for a 3 for flying. And when it, it gets plus one plus one each creature with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Pay four, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Now this card is pretty good, it's pretty evasive, and it would be good um, without this bomb ability. 
But with the bottom ability, it means every time you put a 1-1 counter on another creature, this gets even stronger as well. So if we pay 8, put two one ones on this, it then gets... Or two one ones on other creatures, sorry, it then gets plus 2, plus 2 as well. So it's a pretty good card. Jeskai Student is 2 for a 1-3 with Prowess. Again, I've said how good Prowess is. I think it's one of the best mechanics in the set, and I really like it. Kill Shot is some great removal for white in the set. For 3, you're destroying a target attacking creature at instant speed. Really solid. Mardu Hateblade, you know, he's okay. I don't normally play 1-1s, one but you can give him Death Touch if you're playing Abzan or Mardu. Uh, so he's okay. I think he might have a place in some decks. Mardu Horde Chief is 3 for a 2-3 with Raid. If you attack, you get a 1-1. One, one. Again, this is a pretty basic creature. Uh, I can see play for all of these in standard. Uh, not standard, sealed, sorry. Getting a 2-3 and getting a 1-1 one, one for 3 mana. It's okay. Um, nothing special. Master of Perils. Uh, per pearls, sorry, not perils. Um, I've heard a lot of bad things about this card and a lot of good things. In my opinion, I really like it. Uh, being a, It's a 2-2, two, two, and being able to, when it turns face up, give everything plus 2 plus 2 at instant speed is really strong. But again, I'm going to have to agree with some people, the morph cost is quite expensive for it here, and I would have preferred it a little bit cheaper. But it's a solid card, and I think it will see play in standard as well as sealed. Rush battle for 4, creature control at plus 2 plus 1, and warriors you control gain lifelink. I think this will definitely see play in Mardu and Abzan again, these are the strong points for this card because warriors you control gain lifelink and those decks contain a lot of warriors. But even if you're not playing those decks, even in just Jeskai, giving all your creatures plus 2 plus 1 and if they've got prowess they'll then get an extra plus 1 plus 1. It's a really strong card, basically gives your creatures plus 3 plus 2. Uh, Sorcery speed lets it down a bit but it's a really strong card nevertheless. Sage Eye Harrier is another good flying evasive creature. The only thing that I don't like about this is its insane mana cost of 5. Like, why 5 mana for 1-5 flying? I get that it's a good blocker and everything, but it doesn't even have Outlast. Like, or Prowess, or anything. It's just got more. Um, yeah. Salt Road Patrol. It's 4 for a 2-5 with Outlast. Now, this card... I don't really know what to think about it. Obviously it's got Outlast, so every turn you can make it a bit stronger, and it'll get all those boosts from the other creatures, but it is 4 mana for a 2-5, and there are so many stronger creatures in this set at common and common, and all those types of levels than this, so I think it's not really going to see much play in sealed, and it obviously won't be playing seeing play in standard. See, Seeker of the Way is 2 for a 2-2 two -two with prowess. Um, I like that by itself, if it was just a 2 for a 2-2 two -two with prowess. However, also have whenever you cast an non-creature spell, it gains lifelink. So if you cast a long creature spell, this is going to get plus one, plus one, and lifelink until end of turn. I really like it. Amazing in sealed. I think it will play see play in standard as well. Possibly in a warrior deck. Um, and the thing is that's great about this card, is although it is made for Jeskai, it could be placed in a Jeskai, in a Mardu, or in an Abzan deck. So it's pretty flexible as well. The final few cards we're looking at for today, guys, are Siegecraft 4, and 2 plus 4. It's a good enchantment, like I said, the flyers and stuff in this set do need enchantments, and this is one of the things that you can enchant. I like it, um, it's a bit expensive, 4 for plus 2 plus 4, and it's a bit of a risk as well, having to equip it, and if they've just got removal, it dies. But I do like the cards, it's decent. Smite the Monstrous is 4 for in speed, destroy type creature with power 4 or greater. Again, some great removal for white in this set, um, I really like that card. Suspense, suspension field is two for an enchantment. When it ends battlefield, you may exile a creature with power three or great toughness, sorry, three or greater until it leaves. A bit like a banishing light effect. Obviously, it's a little bit worse because it has to be a creature with toughness three or greater. Banishing light just costs one extra mana. It's exiles a permanent. But nevertheless, it is a really strong card and it will definitely see play in sealed at least, if not standard. Take up arms gets you three one one warriors onto the battlefield, and obviously this works really well with all those cards that give warriors plus one plus zero, oh, and that card we just looked at that gives warriors life link. So I think this will definitely be run in sealed. Um, will it have play in standard? It depends if the warrior deck becomes a thing. It is instant speed, which I like, but obviously there are cards like raise the alarm instead that for two at instant speed get you two one one soldiers. So it's a bit of a battle between the soldiers and the warriors at the moment, guys. Timely Horde Mates is 4 for a 3-2 with Raid. When it enters battlefield, if you attack with a creature, return target creature card with convert mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I think this card's really solid. You're getting a 3-2 for 4 at the beginning, which is okay, it's decent. But then, in a white weenie deck, being able to return creatures from the graveyard to the battlefield is pretty powerful. 
I think this has got the most potential in maybe a black-white aggro deck, because there are a lot of cards for uh, mono-black aggro been seeing. But if you run these as well, maybe it'll work. We'll have to wait and see. Vulnerable Lamasu is 7 for a 5 for Flyer. Again, it's a decent creature. I like the fact it's got flying and they didn't just leave it as a 5 4 for 7, because they have done that with a few cards in this set. Uh, it's still quite an expensive mana cost, but it's going to be good in sealed and good evasion. War Behemoth is 6 mana for a 3-6 with more for 5. Again, a pretty basic creature, strong defense, but uh, a lot of the creatures in this set are pretty strong, so I don't think it will last all that long. Watcher of the Roost is 3 for 2 1 with flying. When it's turned face up, you gain 2 life, and its morph cost only requires you to reveal a white card in your hand. All of the cards, we've seen these all now, they've got one of these for white, black, green, blue, and red, and all they require you to do is reveal a card of uh, the same colour to morph it face up. So, it, they're good combat tricks. This one gains you 2 life. I do like the black one more, the 1 1 with death touch, obviously. Turn up with a black card, it, they lose 2 life. It's a great combat trick being able to block their biggest dude and kill it. But this is a really sweet card nevertheless, and I love the fact that it's got flying as well. And the final white card we're going to look at today is Wingmate Rock. This card is huge in sealed. This card I think we'll even see play in standard. It's absolutely bonkers. For 5 mana you're getting a 3-4 with flying. And if you attack with a creature this turn, you get another 3-4. And if that isn't good enough, 5 for 2 3-4 flyers. Whenever it attacks, you gain 1 life for each attacking creature. In a white weenie deck, this is absolutely insane. You go and attack with 10 creatures, you gain 10 life, they take 10, all oh, your 20 life in the lead. Just like that. So guys, we're really glad that you've enjoyed this series. We've heard a load of positive feedback from it. So we will be doing a series just like this for the next set when it comes out in the, of the Khans of Tarkir block. If you're new to the channel, please take a quick moment to subscribe. Our subscriber rates have been going up massively recently, and it, it's really big thanks to you, basically. We have started uploading more recently as well. We're doing three videos a week now, but this week we have been giving you two videos a day because we are so excited about Khans of Tarkir, and we hope you are too. When Khans of Tarkir we're going to be opening, comes out, we're going to be opening booster boxes and fat packs and all sorts of cool stuff, so all you need to do to watch all that is hit that subscribe button now. So thank you very much, and we will see you next time.